One of the common questions asked to children um, when, you know, they're like probably four, five, six, is what do you want to be when you grow up? I remember I wanted to be a nurse. And um, then as I grew older, I realized you had to deal with a lot of guts and blood. And uh, I give it to you nurses out there, man, and you doctors and all that. Everybody has an area they're called to, right? Well, then I, well, I discovered that that was not my calling, okay? And um, then as I got older, I was always interested in media. I was, I wanted to be a choreographer, and I wanted to do commercial ads, I wanted to do radio, and so many things, right? And, uh, but, you know, I was meditating and pondering on that question uh, not so long ago when I was teaching a leadership class. And the question to the church was, what do you want to be when you grow up? So I speak to you churches, to congregations, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because you have to grow. You can't stay where you're at right now. I speak to you as an individual. What do you want to be when you grow up? When you grow up in the spirit. You might have just came to the Lord now or... You might have been in the Lord for a while now, but there's been no spiritual growth. You feel like you've been stuck. But maybe it's because it's up to you to take a chance and step out the boat, you know, and trust God with the unknown because what is unknown to you is not unknown to Him. Okay? So, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow in the Lord? Marriages, what do you want to be when, when you grow up, when you grow together in strength and in spirit, right? Because God unites two people, they become one flesh, right? So they become one also in the spirit. There has to be growth. Now the thing is that I want to let you guys all know, you know, all ages watching this, that there's always growing pains. Okay, for your church to grow, you want it to expand, God wants it to expand because a church that grows is a healthy church, right? And some of you might feel that it grows and then it reduces again because ministers and missionaries and pastors come out of it and they go and open up their own work. But that's, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing because you're growing, but you're growing to, to train up and equip up and, and send out and there's a growth going on in the body of Christ because of the work that you're doing. But you may experience some pain because of loss, right? Some people um, experience other kind of pains in, in, in their walk, in your spiritual walk. You may go through certain trials and tribulations and, and moments where you just wish, like, you know, Lord, come on, hello, can, can you give me, like, a break here? Can we have some ice cream and call this a day and call it a happy day? But part of growth, you know, it's change, and change is not always the most pleasing thing. So I don't want that to change your mind about growing up in the Lord, about growing in the Lord, about growing in that career. What do you want to be when you grow up? You started at entry level. Does that mean you have to stay there? You know? Does that mean you can't go back to school? Does that mean that you failed at something? That you can't get back up with your dreams again? No. I urge you to take up your dreams. I urge you to stand up again. You that started something and failed at it, try again and again until you get it right. What do you want at the end of it? What is the final outcome you're looking for? Listen, God has your outcome. But you have to take a step of faith. You have to believe in God, believe in yourself, and believe that that which is placed in front of you is going to benefit you and give God all the glory. Because people will see how you've been blessed. So, what do you want to be when you grow? I hope you can pound on these thoughts. I hope it makes sense to you. You can email me your prayer requests. I love praying with people. 
email me at goodradiostation at gmail.com. Goodradiostation at gmail.com. I will reply to you, okay? God bless you. God keep you. This is Pastor Jeannie Santos letting you know that it's not what it looked like. God has a plan. And his plan is for you to grow and flourish and bloom in a beautiful way. Besos y hugs. Till next time. Te veo pronto.